A is praise case and is taken from Psalm 135, 1 to 2. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 135 and I will read 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, O ye servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. He said, in the courts, in the house of our God. Uh, in this interpretation here, yeah, we are in, in the tutorial of the house of our God. Amen. 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 We are going to pray. Today is finger of God. Um, I wish today we... We will talk less and praise God and worship God. Let's be on our feet. Amen. Ah. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Sing hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Relax. Put everything. My, my mother knew what I wanted to say. Relax. Be at liberty to praise God because it's praise gate. To praise God. And when the prayer point comes, we just be at liberty to pray. No need of tightening your face. You are not eating bitter soup. Amen. Amen. You are worshiping God in the beauty of His holiness. So relax like a baby. In the hands of his or our, our mother. Amen? Amen. 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 Sing one more time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God. Amen. 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 I say, Amen. Pastor, ah, Amen. Brothers, Amen. 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 I say, Amen. Jesus, I have dominion over God's creation. As an image of God, I have dominion over the creations of God. I take authority because the authority has been released to me by my Lord and Savior Jesus. I remember, he said, all power in heaven, on that earth, I give it unto you. Go into the world and preach the gospel. Oh, let us pray. I have dominion over the God's creation. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. In Genesis, you said I should go into the world and have dominion over your creation. I dominate your creation as your image. 
I am the image of God. I dominate your creation in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I dominate your creation. I dominate your creation. I dominate them. Everything that you created that will work contrary to the will of God in my life. I dominate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that God created that wants that wants to work contrary to the will of God in your life. Say it. I dominate you in the name of Jesus Christ. You shall not raise your ugly head against me or my family or my children in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. 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 I say, brothers, Amen. Sisters, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. In numbers. You know what the, the word of God says? He said, have God spoken? Can he not bring it to pass? Mm -hmm. That God is not the man that he should lie. So you are going to pray God. You are not the man. Whatever I decree, according to Job 28, is it 22, 28? That you can decree a thing and it shall come to pass and it shall establish. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are not a man who don't lie. You said it and it will come to pass. And as your image, you said I should decree. Whatever I decree here on earth, it shall come to pass. And you take all the glory. Ah, Father, I thank you. I bless your holy name. I bless your holy name. I thank you. I honor you. I exalt you. I magnify you. For you alone are God. Ah, there is no God like you. There have never been any God like you. There will never be any God like you. You are holy. You are righteous. You are faithful. You are a covenant to be God. Ah. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. 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 Sing one more time. Amen. Amen. Ah. Amen. 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 Ah, the word of God said, the, the Holy Spirit is our helper. Ah, the Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. So the Holy Spirit will partner with you today to worship God in beauty of your holiness. I partner with you, Holy Spirit. I partner with you, Holy Spirit, today. I will worship you. I will adore you. I will exalt you. I will magnify you. All my being, my spirit, my soul, my body, all my intellect will worship God, will praise God, will magnify God. In Jesus' name, let us pray. I partner with the Holy Spirit to worship God. I partner with the Holy Spirit who is my helper to worship God, to praise Him, to adore Him, to exalt Him. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what I hear. Hallelujah. Everybody now. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. And the word of God said, Ah, he sent for this word and us, and he was those what he healed us and delivered us from destruction. That is his word. We have decreed. He said, God does not lie. I he will say it, it must come to pass. So we are going to pray. Is there any sickness in anybody? Is that physical or spiritual? You are healed in the name of Jesus. And let us pray. That is your word. Amen, 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 and amen. You have said it. You sent for your word. And your word became flesh and dwelt among men. And he went to the cross for our sake, especially chief sinners like us. Ah, Father, you are warned, he is lost, and delivered us from destruction. That is why we are here, flesh and blood, strong and healthy. The sicknesses that other people had and take them to grave, we had it and we are healed. Ah, it is the Lord doing. Ah, Father, we thank you. We honor you. We bless you in the name of Jesus. He sent for this word. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. He sent forth his word. And his word heal us and deliver us from destruction. Who sort of destruction? Who sort of destruction? He said, sin power over us was broken on the cross. Because he reconciled us back to his father. To our father. To his God. To our God. Therefore, we pray. Sin power over me is broken. Sin power over my children is broken. Sin power over my family is broken. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. He sent for your word. Your word healed me. He healed me. He delivered me from destruction. And that destruction, sin power over my life has been broken. Ah, that is why I have access to God Almighty through the blood of the Son. Ah, that is why every accusation of the adversary, the blood of Jesus that come against you. I have been proclaimed as a righteous man because of the blood of Jesus Christ. I stand in the righteousness of Jesus Christ to come before God of God of mercy, God of love, God of kindness, the unapproachable light, to praise Him, to exalt Him, to adore Him in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm not moved by what I hear. Hallelujah. I'm not moved by what I see. Hallelujah. Sing it, God, now. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. Romans 1 16. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I will preach it even to the end of my life. I will not be ashamed. Pray your own portion. Pray it in the name of Jesus. It is the word of God. Pray it silently or loudly. That is your own motto. That is my motto. I will preach. There is no Sunday that I don't preach. Either at the gas station or where I walk or where I go, I must say Jesus loves you. Brethren, preach. Well, open your mouth and pray your portion. Pray your portion. Pray your portion. Pray your portion that the Holy Spirit give her in the name of Jesus Christ. I will preach the gospel. Anywhere I go, anywhere I go, I will preach you. Holy Spirit, you, I will partner with you to preach the gospel. In righteousness, in truth, in the epistle of my life, I will preach the gospel. I will preach the gospel. And there shall be testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will preach the gospel. Ah, anywhere I go, I put my step. Father, the Lord said, I take it for possession. I don't possess this for my physical gain, but to give somebody to the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Sing one more time. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 In Psalm 16, verse 8, he said, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Ah. Amen. 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 Now pray that prayer. Set the Lord at the right hand of your children in the university and the colleges where they are. Set the Lord at the right hand of your family. The mother, the newborn babies, wherever they are, the pregnant women, set the Lord before them. Set them. They are his at the right hand. Set the Lord before you as you go out and come in every day. Ah, brethren, ah, it is wonderful. In Jesus' mighty name. 
When we look at this, what's selected to get in, we are looking at the situation where an individual appears to only hear what is important to, to them, what is important or relevant. You select the word. You want to hear this and this alone. Let's take this scenario. We are all gathered here right now. The children are in the children's department. And if a child should just cry out loud, every one of us will be looking around, like, what's happening? Who is that child? Who can that child be? But do you know what? The mother or the father of that child instantly recognizes the voice. And before you know it, she has jumped out. Because there is, it, it, it has been recognized by between the family, between the two of them. It has been, it's a selective hearing. He knows the voice of the child anywhere. It can be picked up. So the same thing with us as a child of God. This selective hearing we are talking about is not something that developed overnight. It's a gradual it's a building. It's a thing that, a relationship that is built up right from time, time known within the, the, the two persons we are talking about. So when we're talking about the, the selective relationship, we are talking about a relationship that grows continuously to distinguish and to establish the voice separately in any situation and in any circumstances. Praise the Lord. So which leads us to the text that we are looking at today. The text that we are looking at says in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10, If sinners entice you, consent not. When we look at the Bible and we hear the word sinner, does it mean the sinners outside? No. The sinners within, within us. Anybody, the Bible says, he that mocks is a sinner. He does not obey the word of God to the latter, is a sinner. When you sin in one, the Bible says you sin in all, is a sinner. Praise the Lord. Because when I was thinking about sinner, I said, God, are we talking about sinners outside? No, we are talking about sinner in here. So for our fresh man, for our money man, this money wants to look at it this way. Bible says, when sinners entice you, consent not. The amplifier says, when sinners entice you, turn your back against the word. Which word? Turn your back against what? Against those words that you have already accustomed to. That you know that this is God speaking to you. That this is God's direction in your life. That this is God directing you. And when sinners one now wants to make some, can I say, mago mago and make it to disbelieve it, Bible says, turn your back. Stand firm on what you believe. Stand firm on the voice that you have been hearing. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10 says, there are many voices in the world. Many voices. Let me quickly read that one because I think it's relevant to what this one. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 10. He said there is, there are, there it may be so many kinds of voices in the world and none of them is without significance. None. So it means literally each voice has its own distinct action that is going to do in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when we are not talking about selecting, uh, selecting to hearing, The word we hear is always coming to either build us up. The word we hear, we choose to listen to and to act upon, is either going to pollute us. The word we choose to listen to and react to is either going to destroy us. So three aspects I was just looking at. Listening, selecting to hearing can the one we're going to the, the going, what we're going to build us to, to build us or to pollute us or to destroy us. I want to take the instance of Ruth in the Bible. When Naomi got into that problem and everything was messed up, everything was bad, 
He called him two wives, the two son-in-laws, the daughter-in-law, and said, please go back. I can't give you any child for now. But Ruth has already selected what she wanted. If you look at Ruth chapter 1 verse 10, she has already selected it. She said, do not ask me to go back. Do not ask me to go back. Where you go, I will go. Who your God is, I will, I will, he will be my God. He has selected that word and he has decided to stay put with that word. So in selected, selected to hearing word, we will have, we will have a bad influence around us. We will have somebody that will try to change us, like in Ruth. The, the, she has a, a, a step step sister. That one is a bad example. In the moment, in the moment the, the Naomi said, go back. She said, I am going. What about you? Are you still there? So she stayed there. The, the stepmother is herself. Also influence her in the selective world. She tried to change Ruth's mind. Please go back. Your sister has gone back. What are you still going to do? I can't give you a child at this old age. He said, no. Whatever you go, I will go. Whatever your God is, that will be my God. She chooses that word and she stood by it. Praise the Lord. So in selective hearing, I just want to round up quickly. For us to be to stand in our selective hearing, we need to be to choose the word. To choose to know the word that we believe in. Choose the word to believe in. Do you want to believe in the word of God in every situation? Or you want to believe your emotion? In selecting to hear, causes to, to what you hear. How do you select the word? You, the, what you hear is very important. Do you hear the word of God more? Or you hear the influence of, the, you, you, you react to your in emotions more? Praise the Lord. And finally, careful on what you listen to. We should be careful on what we listen to. Why? Because the more of what we listen to, we be an influence of the choices of how we react to the selective word. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I just want us to I want us to pray and ask God. God help me. I've heard this selective selective to hearing of your word. Teach me, even after today. And count me. Give me the grace to choose right. Give me the grace to listen right. Give me the grace to do that which will glorify your holy name. To the glory of God the Father. In Jesus' name. Father, we just want to thank you this morning. We appreciate and we exalt your holy name. That even as we have had the talking of that word, you will expound it in our hearts. You will enlarge it in our heart that we will be the benefit of it and your name shall be exalted in every situation in Jesus name Amen. praise the Lord Amen. hallelujah let's be on our feet let's begin to worship the name of the Lord he's the Alpha and Omega the Rose of Shine the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords Let's begin to glorify his holy name. Is he not worthy among the faith? It's not our power, it's not our mind, but it is great. Today is the last Sunday in the month of April. A lot of people have gone, but we are alive. We are in his presence. Some people are in the hospital. Some people are in jail, but we are in his presence. Hallelujah. Thou art worthy, thou art worthy, O oh Lord, to receive.
Can somebody tell Jesus, thank you for all the battles? He went to the cross, he fought for you and me. And he lost us victory. He triumphs on our behalf. For one full month, we've been talking of great triumph. For one full month, we've been talking of great triumph. Can you appreciate God for all the battles, the seen and the unseen battles, the one that he fights for you when you're sleeping, the one that he fights for you when you're driving, the one that he fights for you when you're flying, the one that he fights for you when you're even eating. In my place, food has killed somebody. Somebody ate food and it went through the wrong side of his of his throat and he died of eating. So everything in life is risk. It is the Lord. It is the Lord that was there for us. It is the Lord that fought our battles. It is the Lord. The Bible says in Psalm 126, it says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamt. Our mouths will fear with laughter and our tongues with singing. Oh, it shall be said among the people, see what the Lord has done for them. Can somebody tell Jesus, thank you for fighting our battles. He has won us triumph. He has gained us victory. Victory on the cross. Victory in our jobs. Victory in our families. Victory in our marriages. Victory in our endeavors. Victory in the lives of our children, our grandchildren. Victory all round. Victory. Triumph. 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 Can somebody tell Jesus, thank you. Coronavirus came and it went and we are still alive. In America, it was killing people in sevens of thousands every day. There was a day that 10,000 people died. But I'm still standing today. You are still standing. Can somebody just tell Jesus, thank you for the battles. The battles of hell. Many people are going on wheelchairs. But the Lord has fought for us. Many people are rolling on the floor. Many people are crawling. Many people cannot even eat food. They have so much money that they cannot eat food. Is it not God? Is it not God that has been there for us? If not the Lord who was there for us, our enemies would have triumphed over us. But the Lord triumphed for us. The Lord triumphed for us. That life you are living, is it because you are too righteous? The life you are living, is it because you are too holy? If it weren't the Lord that fought the battle, he fought the battle on the cross of Calvary. He fought the battle and he gave you victory. He gave me victory. He gave our families victory. He gave our children victory. He gave our husbands victory. He won the battle for us. He gave us all what we asked him for. To some of us, he gave us green cards. To some of us, he made us citizens of this land. To some of us, he did great things. Some of us are very rich because the Lord died rich so that we might be rich. Is somebody hearing me? Is somebody not thundering now? I'm shouting on the name of Jesus. Hey, like blind Bartimaeus shouting, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. And the Lord heard him. The Lord triumphed for him. He took our sicknesses away. He took our problems away. What a marvelous God. What a mighty God. What a glorious God we say. Is it not the Lord? Is it not the Lord? Is it not the Lord? Can your money buy life for you? Can money buy life for every one of us? The Bible says, when the Son of Man sets you free, you are free indeed. We are free because the Son of Man has set us free. We are free because the Lion of the tribe of Judah has fought and has prevailed on our behalf. The Lion has fought for us. Can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Hey, can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Call him whatever name you know him by. Oluwa, Abasimbo, Abasimsimsi. Oh, Jineke, Yahweh. And Lord, and I say you are Yahweh. You are our God. God, God, God. The God of the heavens and the God of the earth. Has he not triumphed for you? Has he not fought your battles? 
he has for me. And that is why we are telling him thank you. And that is why we are telling him thank you. That's why we are telling him thank you. Can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Just that one word, thank you for fighting my battles, for triumphing for us. The Bible says he blotted out every handwriting that was contrary and against us. And he took it from the way and nailed it to his cross. And having done that, he made an open show of Satan triumphing in them all. His triumph is our triumph. His victory is our victory. Can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Can somebody tell Jesus thank you? Tell him thank you for keeping you alive, for keeping us alive, for keeping our children alive, for keeping our families alive, for doing great things for us, for lifting us up. Who are we? David said, I was the least among my father's brethren, among my father's children. I was the least. But the Lord has so lifted me. The Lord has so lifted me. Joseph was the least among his father's children. But the Lord so lifted him. He so lifted him. All glory, glory, glory to the Lord. All glory, all glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah.
today, the last day in the month of April, uh, we thank him for saving us. Hallelujah. We are meeting 11 p.m. to pray across to the next month. Amen. These are all night. We are praying through our church conference line sharing on the screen. And the number is 855-729-9926. That's the number you join to. And may the Lord bless us as we join in Jesus' name. Don't come alone. Invite friends and families to join. Let them to see what the Lord is doing in your life. And may the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And on Monday, we'll be coming together to you at your conference line, 7 to 8, to pray. And you know what? First, second, third day in every month, we we'll pray and fast. So we'll come together 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. to pray. And you know, pastor do say, if you know you have a health challenge, or you don't uh, have the capacity to pray, I mean to fast, don't bother yourself. But if you have the, I mean, you are healthy, nothing is wrong with you, man, pray and fast. And the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. So on Tuesday, we'll come together 7 to 8 p.m. to pray. And on Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. online. We won't be coming to church here to pray because of those that will join online. So we're joining online 7 to 8 p.m. And that's the third day of our prayer and fasting. And may the Lord bless and answer our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. And on Friday, as we all do, we're coming together 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. That's our all night, our normal all night. So please invite people to join and the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. And on Sunday, we'll come here 10 30 a.m. Don't come late. Sometimes I do, but don't come late if you don't want to miss. So you not you not miss any bit of the uh, program. You see, the how the praise and worship was today, this morning was so good. Amen. Amen. So you come 10 30 in the morning and we start with the finger of God. Then after that, we we'll move to morning manner, then to praise and worship service. And may the Lord bless and answer our prayers as we honor God with our time in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Offering time. About six white people. 
in the village. They got stranded and they brought them in. All our rooms that we wear, he asked us to go to something that looked like a boy's quarters. And we stayed there. The strangers spent a night in the house. And while leaving, he gave them money. Why people they were, I don't know why they were traveling to. We were very late. I said, no wonder all these children are all over the world today. And God is blessing us. Whatsoever you do today to support the work of God, to show kindness to people, you are doing it for your children. Generational blessings don't just start overnight. And that is why I say I will continue to do that because of my children. Brethren, when it comes to the work of the Lord, don't hold your fist tight. Be open. It is the Lord that gave you, that gave you the money. It is the Lord that made it possible for you to earn that money. So shall we all rise up and present our tithes and offering unto the Lord. Because God Almighty is ready to bless you. God Almighty is ready to open the windows of heaven and pour out his divine blessings upon you. Not just for you, for your children, for your children's children. And when I say, Father, we give you all the glory. We want to thank you for the countless gifts that you have bestowed upon us, oh God. Above all, the gifts of life. Father, we bring our tithe and offering before you. We pray, dear Lord, that you let it be acceptable in your sight. In the name of Jesus. As many as I hear this day looking up to you for one thing or the other. Things that they cannot discuss with people. But it's between you and them. Father, Lord, we ask in this morning that you will say to them, in the mighty name of Jesus, everything that looks ramshackled and straight jacketed, in the lives of your people, let it receive divine touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I pray that this morning you will break every chain in the lives of your people. Every discomfort in the lives of your people. Father Lord, God of great triumph, we pray that they will triumph over every obstacle in their lives. In the name of Jesus. You will open the book of remembrance. Even concerning all that are given unto you this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will remember them for good. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will remember their generations for good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for everything. Glory, honor, power, majesty unto your holy name, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. I am a very big God, Lord. He's always by my side. A very big God, Lord.
somebody to pray for you again today. You see, whatever are the desires of your hearts, the Lord will make them. Amen. Pastor, Mrs. Tetuko, can you come and pray for them? You are a woman, take a microphone. You are a woman and they are ladies. So pray for them. God knows their needs. Short prayer. Father Nakon, we thank you very much for this one that you have chosen to be your own. Thank you for laying your mighty hands upon them. And thank you for choosing them. Thank you, thank you because they are of holy priesthood, they are of royal priesthood, they are of holy nation, and uh, you have placed the value on them so that they can showcase your grace. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray and ask, O oh God, that whatever you can do, O oh Lord, concerning their life, to make them perfect in your way. Lord, go ahead and do it in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray, O oh God, that you will not hold back anything good concerning them in the name of Jesus. Amen. In decoration, Lord, decorate them in Jesus' name. Amen. In favor, Lord, I pray that you favor these ones in the name of Jesus. In power, Lord, empower them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that Almighty God, we always transfer the work of your hands in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit will, will abide with you everywhere you go in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you very much, Father. For Jesus' name, we are praying. Yeah. So, Jola and uh, both of you, the Gina Jews, you are now members of this place. Yeah. Yeah. Come regularly, our job. You must have been contacted by people during the week. Good, good, good. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And the Lord will meet every need in your life. Shall you all be seated? I want to take this time to welcome all of you to the presence of the living God. Let's clap unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's clap. Good, good. I can see our dear sister Deborah. He's so, he's so old. <laughs> Joyful this morning. <laughs> I say yes, no wonder. And God has done great and mighty things in our lives. Uh, our prayer is not in vain. Each time she comes here alone. You know, alone, not uh, you know, you see ah, uh, walking on the field. Yeah, field, I help to say to mommy, who is that person? We'll be looking at her from home. Who is that person walking around? Huh? I said, Mom, Mom will say it's Deborah. God honored our prayer. Amen. God honored our prayer. Who was opening me? The Lord <laughs> made you laugh. All oh, that he has been seeking for, God made it. To God be the glory. No wonder. I can see her. She was, she was, hmm. today I say, look at this girl. <laughs> this guy, the Lord will continue to honor you. Yeah. In Jesus' name, it goes to pray. God, prayer, God answers prayers. He answers prayers. You see, all the toiling of this lady coming here alone. At times, you see her sitting on the staircase here. We'll be looking at her right from home, sitting. I was there. I told mommy. I said I was led my spirit to call her and pray for her. Hmm? That God has answered your prayers. 
and I'm happy that the testimony came last week. And to God give the glory in Jesus' name. He said he wanted to, he wanted to give testimony out of uh, um, um, offline. offline. I said, well, we will. Because there are some things, you know, he wanted to kiss you, but I should answer no. It's not that. Udofia doesn't know that. <laughs> okay, I understand Udofia knows it. But I'm sure Boniface didn't know it. <laughs> yes. It's not all your uh, dresses that you stretch into the sun and allow it to get dried up. So, so she said she would like to give some testimony later. Maybe we make it next Sunday. Offline. Offline. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. I rejoice with you. And I enjoy it. I enjoy it one. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, it good, it's good to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to call on my wife. She says she wants to specially thank the church. Please, can you please come forward? It's not an aside. What will we say? So it's the Lord that made it possible. That put his seal upon the dates. Right? By the 11th of April, the Lord made me to be 70 years old. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. And uh, no, I sent out uh, let me give a general appreciation because uh, on Saturday somehow there was no response from the celebrants and I'm sure many who are here uh, on the 22nd are also watching online so I give God the glory and we all made the day beautiful and uh, the day is special unto me I received text messages uh, felicitation messages by email and some went ahead to do it on video and they sent it so I thank you all for all this and uh, all this made the date possible and I give God the glory the Lord whom I'm serving will bless all of you in Jesus name Amen. celebration will not cease from our midst and I, I want to make, you know, mention a few people. Those who came, ministers of God. You know, I, there is one, our Baba said, please, Baba, just do it on, on Zoom. Said no, 85-year-old Baba. He came on Saturday and returned the following. He said, he must be here. 
you must be here. So I, I thank you. I thank uh, who is our general overseer emeritus of Nigeria, in the Nigerian church. I, I give all the glory. I thank the Lord for him and his wife, uh, Mama Adeli Kefalobis. I say thank you. I have to put just something so that I don't miss out. So it may be longish because I have to include uh, uh, that of Saturday. <laughs> so I also thank the Lord for the current general of Asia. We had to send messages and uh, even do a video session even to celebrate that day with us. And they, he couldn't come because they are having a national program in Nigeria. He will have been here. And also thank God for the uh, liberty pass over here. For men of God, from different various ministries, they showed up. And when uh, they did, the MC were asking for which states are you from, which country, people right, rose up for different states, different countries all over the world. What else? We all need the date to God be the glory. Hallelujah. And I thank the Lord for all of you, for my family, for my in-laws. They are no longer uh, in law. Mm -hmm. And my daughter are there. Yeah. I have a title. Mm -hmm. Even in that family. Oh glory. That's my title. I thank the Lord. I'm not just uh, I'm not just a wife. I'm a daughter there. And I thank all of them for you know, coming around to celebrate with us. Men, men of God, people from black ministries in Nigeria, they all you know, sent in their felicitation. And uh, if you go through the program booklet, my classmates of over 50 years, they were just pouring in felicitation messages. And uh, one of our schoolmates was there live to represent everybody. So I'm very grateful unto the Lord for all that he has done. And I thank you. When I look back, I see all of you. When I was watching the video, I was just shedding tears. Said me, Lord, you are good. And I will go a little bit concerning River Day for You are wonderful people. You are wonderful. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. You are set up the, uh, keep the date when it was uh, December. Elder Idogu, our Baba Ito, is having another title today. That's the Baba Ito, a Fever Day First Girl Church. Say, ah, Mama, you have to do photo shoot. You have to do this. He sends me the text. I put it up this morning. Send the text. This is where you can do photo shoot. You need photo shoot. Okay. And he was reminding me, reminding me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Immediately, the sub committees. Then they said that we need to set up a committee. Also, it was coming to me. I said, I can't set up a committee for myself. I'm a planner myself, but I can't plan this one because it's my celebration. So I can't plan it. So it was just coming. And then I went to Baba. I got Baba. I said, No, 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 no. <laughs> so it was quite cancelled. Go to Okumi now. So the committee was set up. You know, that was a major com a main committee, you know, to handle the program. Part of the main committee, we have so many subcommittees, you know, coming out of the people who are ready that to make the day. There is one person in that committee who was lying closely to Baba's chest concerning this program. Daily. So anything, he, whatever, <laughs> whatever he hears from Baba, he will take it to the committee. And that was what the committee was running with. And uh, I just, you know, like uh, David desired in uh, Second Samuel chapter 23, he said, I want to drink from the water at the gates of Jerusalem. And the valiant men. Men of Bano, they stood up and broke the rounds of the Philistine to make sure it happened. That was what happened concerning uh, the celebration. I just desired it. I said for my birthday, 11th of April, 
I would like to be in the presence of the Lord for prayers and holy communion. 16th of April, I want to celebrate it in the church. And 22nd of April, the family, that was the date that was sent out. The family will do the celebration. So they started running with it. Uh, Brother D, uh, Daily Lassen Officer. <laughs> <laughs> so what all I was designed were just being implemented. I said, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So um, you, you are so precious that uh, the level of April, the church took it up. Many of you, you call up from work, call up from work, and you are here. You are dancing to the late hours of the day on the eleventh of April. Thank you very much. Then uh, on the sixteenth, oh my God, oh my goodness, <laughs> to establish. Uh, Cup. <laughs> so there was a football tournament and a volleyball tournament and uh, we had two cups that day. I say thank you for that honor. Thank you very much. Uh, our Reverend Kumi was a goalkeeper. <laughs> uh, our Dikin uh, Alabi to show us the professional kick. Eh? But Apayos, I didn't know he could do it. So many. Eh? <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastor Joseph, I said, I'm a footballer. He was there. Thank you. Thank God I'm with them. Oh, you're not let up. And our department, the next generation. Oh, you're not let up. I say thank you very much. Thank you. Hallelujah. So, uh, like I said, we have subcommittees immediately. Committee or decoration. When I came on the eleventh, the place was decorated with cake. I don't know the I don't know the cost. They all supplied it and wine. And the Lord bless the name of the Lord. Amen. And uh, they made picture garden. As you enter the church, you can see the picture garden. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Odunamis, the Tolokonshes, they made it possible. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And, the, and, the, and uh, also, the, like I said, top committees, I have to put it down so that I don't need <laughs> Hallelujah. For the decoration, the media, you know, I took, this I took, I compiled all the videos that we watched on Saturday. To make sure everything was compiled. And there was another subcommittee for photography. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> so they took it up, said, That side, we are for it. Thank you, LBC and Sister Shalla. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, immediately, Pastor Bon arrived. He became the permanent MC. <laughs> so he was the MC for the three stages of the celebration. And on Saturday, our pastor from far away from North Carolina joined him to be the MC. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I have to mention this. Thank you. And I thank the praise team. The praise team. You know, I've signed up with the praise team. Huh? I've signed up with the praise team. Sometimes you see me, you know, ministering. But that is the word. That is the ministry that we are all, you know, looking up to. It is eternal. We, we sing and sing before the Lord. So I've signed up with the praise team. And the performance on Saturday, superb. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Then, uh, uh, then to, so round it up, the Okmari days produce a new joke. And on, upon the felicitation, uh, somebody said that 70 is the new 50. 
So I, I took the advice. I took the counsel that make I'm 50. So, so when they had the job, was presented, I, was, I really. <laughs> Some people say that they don't know I could ask like that, but I thought I was uh, now new 50. But to God be the glory. The following day, my body told me, You are 70. You are 70. Hallelujah. So I really look for all, all the contributions. And uh, that, along the line, when we were planning, uh, our babai to <laughs> that do say mommy what dress will you wear? I have to maybe we we'll order from Nigeria. I said no, 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 no. I said no, don't worry. People are coming in with bags or dresses that uh, I will wear. So don't worry. I said I want to come. That mommy, you must tie this thing up. I said don't worry. They are tying it from Nigeria, and I thank the Lord. The family that tied it from Nigeria is they are here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. We want to report all that we saw on Saturday. They yeah. are yeah. fresh yes. from Nigeria. So thank you very much. I give all the I give God all the glory. So I want to appreciate everybody. You made my day. You you you, you surrounded me. You showered so much love. And I pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. And uh, Amen. the Lord will lengthen your days. Amen. Will lengthen your days. Amen. Will lengthen your years. Amen. The Lord, those of us who are not 70, will be 70. Amen. Those who are already 70, the Lord will carry us to very old age. Amen. And uh, Mama, who was 80, uh, when I was looking at the video, how Mama was digging it, I said, Oh, glory be to God. So I appreciate everyone. And the only way I can extend it is just to I will invite the women's leader and the men's leader so that I hug all of you. But once I hug them, you know, that hugging will go to the church. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mommy, from the MC's corner, we never knew you could dance like that. Thank you very much. Glory be to God. Thank you, thank you. 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 Once again, we want to thank all of you. Everybody has done well. Somebody was asking me, when the value is empty, I said, no. I'm no more sending out invitation on bad day. My 80 will be celebrated in my living room. Mm -hmm. I mean, there can't, there can't be any. You see, we celebrated Baba Farouk's birthday 80 because she he had not, he didn't have any opportunity to celebrate 80 birthday. And that was why I personally took it upon myself to arrange his 80th birthday in Nigeria. Hallelujah. But for me, what am I going to give again? From, from 70, from 70 to 80. You know, there is not going to be any new thing again. I said to be telling God, Lord, help me to see heaven. That's all that is remains. So I won't involve, I won't involve anybody. Come, no, 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 no. The Lord bless all of you. The Lord bless you. I want to thank you very, very much. Eh? Shall we pray? Father in heaven, I want to thank you for all my brothers and sisters, all of them, Lord, that rallied around us to celebrate my wife's 70th birthday. I want to thank you for the prayers of her. I want to thank you for all their physical presence. I want to thank you for the gift, precious gifts that we are giving to us. We want to thank you, Lord God of heaven, for those who send felicitations from all over the globe. Lord, we give you praise and glory and honor and adoration. Be thou exalted forever and ever. Amen. I pray, Lord, that all who did this, Father, you will reward them. Amen. You will be their real reward. Amen. And I pray that the Lord will take each and every one of you unto very, very old age. Amen. Thank you for hearing Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Amen. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. 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 Shall be seated. I want to thank God for uh, our guest speaker this morning. Is somebody that if nobody knows him, Alex knows him. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, Alex of Panic, they know him. And of course, we want to thank God for the grace of God in his life. He's one of our pastors from Nigeria. He's a bivocational pastor. In fact, my district supervisor says, those of us who say we are bivocational, he says we are not bivocational, he says we are tri-vocational. Tri tri <laughs> tri eh? He says we are tri-vocational. Because we do everything 100% at home, at work, you know, the work of the Lord is going on. And so it is with, with my brother who will be coming forward. By the grace of God, he is the group managing director of uh, hotels, uh, of uh, Sheraton Hotels PLC. You know, the group of Sheraton in Nigeria. And it's my pleasure to call on my pastor, Pastor Theophilus. And your name to for Hallelujah. Praise be the Lord. Hallelujah. I first of all salute the great choir for this great tradition you have today. God will continue to bless you, Amen. support you, Amen. and we'll sing in heaven in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me also appreciate that the real opportunity I'm given again to stand before you, I will not take it for granted. I want to thank my father in the Lord and my mother in the Lord, the family who picked me up when I was nobody, and they started to mentor me to the point that I became a minister in Nigeria, they partnered a church for me. I went to that church on March 1st, 2020. 20. Sorry, 2010. Thank you, man. I'm, I, of course, I'm here with my wife. We pastored the church together. Allah mm -hmm. Mozuna Akota Church. Pastor Mizubu Bokola Netufo. Thank you for your support, man. Thank you. So, in that church, anytime we go there in the morning, we we'll see liters of some substances. Because there are about eight churches in our, in our place. But by the victory that Jesus got for us on the cross of Calvary, within six months, all the churches were closely shut. Some of them were joining us. And within two years, the church became shattered. Another two years, the church became a Zona headquarter church. And by the grace of God, because of what God has done for us, I had the privilege to serve in the national. I served as the, uh, the, the chairman of the National Convention of First Square Year 2021. All this were made possible. By who? By Jesus. Because he gave us victory. By our team. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57. Thank be to God for the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And on this note, I really want to appreciate daddy and mommy we pray for them every day in our home in our church through counseling through mentoring daddy provides us with that and mommy provides with umbrella that be shielding us from the vicissitude and from all the storms of life apart from god today the only human being the only family that i trust that I run to is that Oluidi, not anyone in Nigeria. That day and Oluidi remain my benefactor. So my prayer is that the good Lord will continue to prolong the life of Daddy and Mommy. Amen. The Lord will continue to preserve them. Amen. The Lord will continue to do great and mighty things in their lives. Amen. They have imparted lives. Oluidi pastors, we are over we are over ten thousand across the world. And God will continue to use Baba and Mama. Amen. To continue to enlarge the workforce in the kingdom of God Amen. and in the service of, of humanity. Amen. Whether that is going to celebrate a terrible day in the city room, 
We are going to organize Sitel Bade in Nigeria. Praise the Lord. Everybody has done for mommy our local in Nigeria. And the Lord even, Sitel Bade or Daddy, we are going to have it in Nigeria. If Daddy like, let him join by Zoom. But they cannot stop us from organizing it. We will do it by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. And since I came, I saw wonders. I saw great solidarity. Great men and women of God in Riverdale Four Square. In fact, I was just observing what I saw. When I saw men and women running up and down, the Ashibong of this world, the Oparide of this world, the Oyemi of this world, everybody. The quiet. I, I said, but these people are not in Nigeria now. Why are they so active and so committed like this? So, you have done very well. You have done our, our river day, as far as I know, with the Seventh-day Party of Mommy, you have done great things. Amen. And you continue to excel Amen. in all you do in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, God has cleared everything for us. He said, Honor thy father and thy mother. So that what? Amen. Your days will be long. So for all you have done for Mama and Baba Lord in this church, God will grant you long life. Amen. And you will enjoy the fruits of your labor. Amen. And as that is moving and mentoring and carrying us on his back, we will all make heaven. Amen. We will not stumble. Amen. I will not end our journey halfway. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Our team remains great triumph. And our team tests are Philippians 3.10, that I may know him, and the power of the resurrection, with the fellowship of his suffering, confirmable his death. And um, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, it says, Thanks be to God for the victory we have received through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The victory of our Lord Jesus Christ is the fulcrum of our Christian faith and belief. Is the essence, is the core. Without it, there is nothing to hold. So our faith, what we are what, what we are today, our testimony, our proof as children of God is the fact that Jesus died, he was buried, he rose again, and is alive. Amen. Jesus is alive yeah. and will continue to be alive. Amen. He made himself a ransom for us. He took away our sin. He took away our sorrow. He, he became our body bearer. But he paid a lot of price. He suffered. Bible tells in Isaiah 53, verse 5, say, he was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are made whole. Amen. Amen. So as many of us who are here today, we have one event or the other. That victory that was secured for us on the cross of Calvary, that victory will be available for you today. Amen. You will receive your healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Luke 24, verse 44 tells us, on crucifixion, Jesus died on the cross. And to God be the glory, he rose as a foretold, and that is the essence of our victory in Christ Jesus today, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to rise on our feet and sing this short song, at least to herald the message. Agbara Eshuda, Nebiti Jesu Benjaba, Agbara Eshuda, Kosiyo, Agbara
precious Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you very much for giving us Jesus. Thank you for the sacrifice of your Son on the cross of Calvary, so that we can receive life, so that we can enjoy life, so that we can receive victory. Thank you, Father, for the victory you have secured for us on the cross of Calvary. You have given us victory over sin, victory over death, victory over self, victory over all the wise of the weak of the wicked. What a mighty Father we serve! We return all glory to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All the powers of the enemy are destroyed because we are giving us authority over them. Father, we ask today in the name of the Lord, come and reign in our lives. Amen. Father, we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave all for us, come and reign in our marriages. Amen. Come and reign in our family. Amen. We ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father, come and reign. Amen. Jesus, come and reign. Amen. Come and rule Amen. in our ministry, Amen. in our churches. In Fort Square River Day, Father, come and reign. Amen. Come and be in charge. Amen. Take preeminence. In our life, Jesus will not die in vain. Amen. That victory you are secure for us will not be in vain. Amen. We will appropriate it. Amen. We will experience it. Amen. We will enjoy it. Amen. We will be delivered by it. Amen. We will secure our successes Amen. and our victory Amen. over all the challenges of life Amen. through this victory on the cross. Amen. Blessed be to your name. Hallelujah. Even this message, Jesus of Nazareth, come and take over. Amen. Come and reign. Amen. Come and rule. Amen. Take preeminence. Amen. Guide and direct. Amen. Even, even if it is for one minute, Father, let your people be touched. Amen. Let life of people be touched. Amen. Let the sin receive healing. Let the hopeless receive hope. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Many are here today, not seeing one desire or the other. Many things they cannot even discuss with anybody. But God, you are the God of all universe. You are the God of all situation. As your work comes out, Lord, begin to meet the need of your people. Amen. Visit your people with divine pleasantness today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Of the truth, the total victory belongs to us. Let your people receive that victory now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you, God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Shall we be seated? Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Our team is great triumph, but I want to address myself this morning to the topic, Jesus Christ, the power and the wisdom of God. And let me quickly read... 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 and 30. 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 and then 30. See, for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to, to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. It is the power of God. Then 30. Verse 30 says, But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Praise ye the Lord. The victory we are talking about is not a victory that is given to men and women on a la carte basis. We can say it, victory, victory, yes, yeah, there's right power. People will say, I decree the name of Jesus, this will happen. It's not every decree that has roots. Many people say it, but it cannot happen. Because it does not carry the efficacy and the power that it should carry. The victory on the cross that Jesus Christ won for us, is not for lazy Christians. It's not for people who are not committed. And it's not for faithful believers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, when we call ourselves children of God, and we cannot be relied on, we cannot be trusted, we are not faithful, we have not really understood what this victory is about. And this victory cannot work for some people. I remember back in Nigeria, 
we used to have a nutrition overseer when he wanted to travel, he would never tell anybody. Maybe, maybe council secretary, maybe one person who would not know. And when daddy and mommy came, when Baba wants to travel, Mama, he will tell us in the council. He will even announce it. I don't know the the difference between the two. Anytime Baba will travel, some of us will make sure we go to church on daily basis. Because we will not allow any gap, we will not allow anything to go wrong. We will work hard. At that time, I will be going to the office, I go to church first. When I come back from the office, I go to church to attend to issues, to ensure. You see, that's faithfulness in service. Baba was not there. We are not waiting for Baba to come and praise us or we are looking for high service. These people behave this way. They are people who understand this victory we are talking about. But the other, the, the, our different verse here, was doing that. Not his fault. Because he was thinking that if he announced that we'll be traveling, 80% of the worker will not come. They will not go to Bible study. They will not come. They will come very late to the church. Does that make sense? It does not make sense. It means we don't really know this Jesus. And that is why Paul is telling us in Philippians 3 that I may know him. Many of us have not known him. The fact that we come to church does not know we know him. The fact that they made us pastors or give up people position, it does not mean we know him. I am telling you, many Christians don't know Jesus. And I pray that God will help us Amen. to come to that consciousness of having an experiment, experiential knowledge of Jesus. Not to just hear it or to say it or to just mingle with people and begin to say we are a member of prayer warrior, we are this, that. No. Your reliab there must be a test of one, faithfulness, test of reliability, test of commitment. If we cannot commit things in your hand, I prefer anything to, to, to do than for the work of God to suffer in my hand. I will never allow it. Thank God for some of the testimony I'm hearing concerning some family that money said. What is life? What do we have? What did we bring? What do I mean? Service to God is number one priority in my life and in anybody's life who actually knows Jesus. Because Jesus knows everything. In fact, he can change your situation now. And and here nobody can question him. Whatever he does, he cannot be questioned. So the time has come for all of us to have an understanding of this victory, this resurrection power. It comes with a lot of packages. It's not ordinary. We used to sing, the name of Jesus is not an ordinary name. Jesus is not an ordinary person. He really suffered. There is no human being in the world that, the world that will be born that can ever take the pains and the suffering Jesus went through because of you, because of me. Now he gave us victory. We are not using it. Many of us are so passive. Many of us are so, I don't know, maybe self, we're full of self. And this power, this victory God has given to us, we are not appropriating it to our life to better the ministry that God has committed into our hands. One of the, one of the packages that God has given to us is power. Power. Somebody will ask you, why is this happening to you? Why? It's Jesus. You are giving us victory. I just gave a short testimony. We have some churches, I don't know who they are. They will come and put something in our churches that people will not come. But the more they do it, the more the church was expanding. There was a woman very close to our church, is the princess of um, Mami Water. So one day, Saturday, I went, ah, all my pastors, leader, don't go there, ah. Pastor, don't try it, oh. don't try it. Oh. I said, why will I not try it? It's, Jesus has given us the victory. He just for us to go out and engage. We must be engaging. We must not just be anxious at Christian. That we come to church, we do nothing. We don't impact life, we don't do anything. We are not actually making use of the victory that Jesus has given to us expeditiously. We are not using them judiciously. Until we begin to do what Jesus did, we will not see the efficacy and the, the workings of this uh, victory we are talking about. I was in the house. 
I called the husband, I called him, I called him to the sitting room. I said, I came to greet them, I brought the name of Jesus to them. The Baba came immediately. He said, Pastor, welcome. I will show you one picture today. He now went to the house, brought an old picture of his uh, father that they were, uh, who brought the thing to them. He, I said, put it on me. I said, match on it. He match on it. They I said, bring, call Mama for me. Mama came. Ma, the ma, woman looked at Who are you? What are you doing here? He said, Mommy, come here. Within one second, I had the leader of the Holy Spirit hold her head. You were there. The whole city room scattered. What happens today? The woman is one of the leading choir members of my church. Let's clap for Jesus. That is the victory that Jesus has given to us by his death on the cross of Calvary. Don't go there, don't go there. You know, if I had sat behind, I don't go there, that woman would have been ravaging under sin, under affliction of the goddess she was worship, worshiping. The father died in our church. We bury him. We ask the family to move your hand because they serve God. Up to I speak to you, that woman is still serving God. Singing, and it's an old woman. But say, if you see this woman, when we saw her, she was looking like 80. But today, it's looking like 40. Amen. That is the victory. Look at, thank God for the morning man now today, selective hearing. Selective hearing. Something happened in uh, John chapter 9. The blind man was healed. He said the people to be happy of the testimony that had happened. They were questioning. Who did it? Uh, is it not Jesus? It's a sinner. Well, is it true you were blind? Mm -hmm. Do not look at look at how you talk. Thank God for my sister who delivered that. Let's select what we should listen to here. And look at the testimony of the man. He said, well, I don't know what you are talking about. Oh. Whether it's a sinner, whether it's this, I don't know. All I know is, before I was blind, now I can see. Praise the Lord. That is the victory we are talking about. And from today, even the word of our mouth will begin to enjoy this victory. This one gave us power. Matthew 28, 18. You see, all authority is given to me on earth and in heaven. I say, go out and make disciples of all men, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son. And he said, teach them to observe all that I have commanded you, I will be to, with you to the end of the world. And we here, we are in the church. We are expecting pastor to come and push us out to go and do evangelism. Thank God for my brother who said was preaching in the gas station. The work of God is full time. It's not, it's not on Sunday alone. Many of us on Sunday in Nigeria, I don't know where, people will pay poor, tithe, do this and that, they will come. You will see church on Sunday flowing. But call Bible study, call uh, they will see them. That is not people who understand the power of resurrection. If we actually understand the power of great triumph, we will not have problem as long as we are not keep, keeping quiet and we are doing the work of God. Luke 10, I think. The same power that is given to Jesus. What did Jesus do? He gave it to you and me. Say, behold, I have given you power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, and upon how many? All the powers of the enemy. Say, nothing shall by any means hurt us. We need to understand our position in Jesus Christ. Everything has to be available for us, but we are not doing it. I pray God will help our generation. Amen. We need the power. Power to function. Power to do the work. Power to make exports. It's not with this our Lakadasa attitude. Especially Christian. Pentecostal Christian. We are too Lakadasa. We are too ceremonial. If you have to talk and believe and talk and talk before you can see few people. People will give you excuses. The work of God is not something you give excuse. I will be in Nigeria. I will travel from Lagos to Port for assignment. But if for Friday there is, back, uh, there is a VG, and I will, was included in that VG, I will fly down from Port come and join the VG, Saturday morning, I'll go back. People thought I was, I don't know what I was doing. But it's not possible. Uh, the Paul said, he said, the zeal of the world has consumed me until we are consumed. 
by the seal of the work of God, we will not experience the resurrection power, the victory. The victory is so available. Christians are not supposed to be running from wishes or wizards. Or, no, we have the power and we have secured the victory. Oh, yes. It's just to do the right thing, which is we flee. Amen. The powers of enemy will flee. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was trying to do almost all the time. One man called me. Can you come and show me the man who is separate you? I said, no, I don't have any man. He said, no, you have. He said, you've been traveling, traveling. No accident, no nothing. I said, so you are expecting an accident. I said, it's, it's not possible. Somebody told my wife, he said, want to join us in that car. I said, no, that car is car of this also. Don't enter. These people, I don't, I don't understand them. These are the things because they see the evidence of the blood of Jesus. And to, until we begin to showcase our belief, our understanding, our trust, and our faith in God, we may not experience this victory. The next one is what God has also given to us is the wisdom of God. We need wisdom. In the book of um, 1 Corinthians 1, from verse 21 to 24, you know, the, uh, the Bible says that when you begin to preach Christ, people of the world see that same as foolishness. When you do certain things now, the Jews will ask, show me signs. When you do certain things now, the Greek will say, what do we go to Greece? You say that all this wisdom, all kinds of this... Uh, uh, society. They want to see wisdom. When you do certain things, I'm, I'm sorry for you, to, I mean, I'm sorry to you who are scientists. Scientists will want proofs. But our children, of, what is our proof? Our proof is what? Jesus. Jesus is the power of God. Jesus is the, is the, is the wisdom of God. Proverbs 4 7. It said, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, what do you do? Get wisdom and get understanding. And James 1 5. It says, Then one of you lack a wisdom. What must we do? We pray. You ask for it. For us to move with Christ, we need wisdom. Otherwise, when somebody is sick and you go to the elders of the church and they pray, and the prayer of faith made the person whole, do you think the doctor will believe you? Because the doctor wants to see the they want to see the result of the test you have done. But you see me not taking place in church today. You see me not taking place. I need to say, who heal you? What will we say? Jesus. In our church, when people want to block the church, begin to do all kinds of things, and yet the church was uh, expanding, growing. Who did it? Jesus. So what is your evidence? Jesus. What is my evidence? Jesus. So until we begin to ascribe, all glory and begin to bring to give proof and begin to trust God, we will not enjoy the victory. Abraham enjoyed the victory. In uh, Genesis 15, 6. Abraham believed and trusted God, and it was reputed for him for righteousness. So if we don't trust, I think God will do God will do. Before you know what happened, it is done. But if you, something happened, you are you are you are a professor. You are carrying all the experience you want to see. At times, that is not the wisdom of God. That is the wisdom of men. And the wisdom of God is more superior, more authentic than the wisdom of men. Otherwise, after there are some professors who are children of God, so they believe in it. Some may not believe, but some believe. Praise the Lord. So we need wisdom. And the wisdom of God is different from the wisdom of the world. Not, not what, they won't believe you. And that's why you see many catastrophes happen in the world than in the church. So, Bible tells us, it said, if we, conf we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ died and he resurrected, what will happen to us? We will be saved. Romans 10, 9. We will be saved. Just confession. If you believe, you are wise. If you don't believe, that person is foolish. So we must begin to exalt the name of Jesus. We must begin to exalt the ability of Jesus. We must begin to showcase that Jesus can do all things. God can do how many things? Oh. Thank you for Sister Deborah. Who believe in, in the God that will be served in River Church. And she depended, she trusted, and she was coming. I see not God to watch as God. Is it the Lord who did it? No. It's God. 
So let's begin to trust him. And the, the, the power of that, the, the, the resurrection power, the victory will showcase in our favor Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Then we talk of righteousness, we talk of sanctification, we talk of redemption. All these things come from the victory on the cross. If there are no victory, there will be righteousness. If there are no victory, there will be sanctification. If there are no victory, there will be redemption. What is a righteousness? It's only living. For us to live right. If we don't live right, God can never answer us. God can never know us. That's why back home, when I begin to hear pastors say, I declare, I declare, I say, please don't say so. So pastor, within one second, they say, you see, when I was writing this message, God told me. I said, well, you, how can God begin to talk to you? God will only talk to people who live right. God will not talk to people who don't live right. People who are stealing. Manipulating church account, you just say, and you come to the book and say, God told you, I mean, that, that, those things are not right. <laughs> so, righteousness, righteousness, Bible says, it is with the mind, I mean, sorry, it is with the heart that we believe unto, no, unto righteousness. And it is the, with our mouth, confession is made to salvation. So, if our heart is not clean, nothing will happen. And if we don't confess it, that with Jesus Christ is the Son of God, Jesus Christ died, that will be, you know, there will be no salvation. And there will be no power. Praise the Lord. Amen. Redemption. This is going to redeem us. Not those of us here now. People generation yet are born. They are shed his innocent blood. They are shed his precious blood for the redemption of uh, mankind. All of us. So it's a great it's a great love that Jesus has for us that you can go to that extent because of all of us. Praise ye the Lord. Let me quickly conclude because my time is limited. Um, I my concern is how can we how can we assess this victory? Like I said, victory is not like that. Anybody can read the uh, uh, First Corinthians 15, 57. We can read it, we can say it, but it's beyond saying. It's beyond reading. It's actualizing. It's experiencing. The question is, is it working for you? Small thing. Don't you run to people who can help you? Do you really believe in God? Do you really depend on God? Don't you have another God? Don't you have another person you need secretly? That is the issue. Until your mind is focused on God, that victory will not work for you. It will not work. So, the totality of our life, whether or, or uh, whatever it is, God is good all the time. When you have food to eat, God is good. When you don't have food to eat, God is also good. But when you are patient and you continue to trust God and you going to believe in Him, your victory will come. Your own personal testimony will come. Because the victory is already generally secure for us. Number one, when we talk about assessing, like uh, Paul advised or counselor, that Paul, with all he has done, Paul did not work directly with Jesus. Apostle Paul was not with Jesus. He was one of, it's not one of the apostles. It was later, later. But I don't know. Maybe Baba will correct me later. I don't know of any disciple of Jesus who walked like Paul. I don't think so. There is no one who traveled like Paul. He preached the gospel in Greece. He preached the gospel in Asia. He preached the gospel in Saudi Arabia. Maybe out in Africa, he suffered. Peter, the, the fact that they even have a personal contact with Jesus. Even when Jesus was praying, they were sleeping. But Paul could not sleep. It's only when he was in shipwreck that he would, he would, he would be sleeping. Mm. Or when a uh, scorpion uh, bites him when they went to uh, uh -huh. Is it that he would sleep? He, 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 actually, he actually did a lot of harm to Christianity, but he paid the price. Mm. And he won for it. And he did it. So with all he has done, with all his labor, and yet he still desire to know Jesus more. How more of us who are not even done 0.000 half percent of what Paul did? 
we need to know Jesus, we need to be closer to him, we need to understand him more, and we need to appropriate this victory to ourselves. Number one thing we must do, we must consistently study the word of God. The word of God is power. The word of God gives strength. The word of God gives assurance. The word of God delivers. The word of God builds confidence. And um, Psalm 119 verse 11 Say the word of God I keep in my heart, so that I will not sin. It's the word of God that's helping us. And then we go on to fall where temptation comes. But when you remember what the word of God says, you run away. Thank God for Brother Joshua. Joshua 1 8. Say your word. Joshua 1 8. The, the word of the Lord must not depart from my mouth. I will meditate on it day and night. And I will observe to do all that is in there, so that I make my way prosperous and have all good sources. That's the word of God. Any child of God who is not vows is not a leader of God is powerless. And you will see all kinds of things mesmerizing him. All night cockroach will fight him in the night will run. Nobody call me one day. I live more than 10 kilometers away. Pastor, there's a snake in my room. There's a snake. I said, you want me to 3 a.m.? Do, do you want me to come from my Golo estate? To come to um, Allah, I mean, my Golo to come. I said, buy me. You say, buy what? You say, one bed is crying. One bed is crying in our roof. Find some job is not easy in Nigeria. Say, <laughs> <laughs> so it's crying. So I buy me now. Say, you buy for me from there. I said, but you should buy it. God has given all of us that power. If you don't study the word of God, you are armless. You are powerless. You are nothing. Let me have push, they can push you up and down. So let the close to our Bible. Let's study our Bible. If you read the Bible today, don't read two verses. Read it today. Go back tomorrow and read two verses. Go back next tomorrow and read two verses. The same two verses. You see that God will be giving you different revelations. Of his words. You begin to understand. I don't like we are reading the Bible for one year, then we are reading as literature. No. If I choose, I can read one chapter for one for one week. Because I want to understand. I don't just read for reading. And God begin to show you a lot of things from just two, three verses. So we must be close to our Bible. Next one is our uh, the next thing we must do to know Jesus more and to begin to enjoy the victory. Is a holy living. There is nothing as good as holy living. Our God is holy. And we must be holy too. First uh, Peter chapter, um, chapter 1 verses 15 and 16. God has called us to holiness. We must be holy. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Without holiness, no man shall be uh, shall, uh, yes, shall make it. We cannot see God. We cannot make God. We cannot even please God. So we need holiness. And we must aspire to continue to live daily Christian life so that we will continue to receive victory. That's the only thing that can give us victory. Like God giving a testimony of Abraham, Genesis 18, 19. He said, I trust Abraham that he will command his children to follow the precepts of God. So our pastor, our father, our mother should be able to trust us that even fathers are falling, that you will not fall. I pray for everyone who hear that under my voice, none of us will fall. Amen. When temptation comes, we will not fall. Amen. God will give us grace even to overcome Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing we must do to ensure that we live online and we begin to enjoy the victory from God is through prayers. There is no alternative to victory or to closeness to Jesus except prayer. The Bible says we should pray, pray without ceasing. Uh, we used to sing that song that the prayer is the master key. Prayer is the key, prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and then with prayer. One of the major activities of Jesus Christ is prayer. He might need that place and go and preach, but he will not join with prayer. In the night, he will not join with prayer. So we must also pray at all times. Uh, Bible tells us in the book of Mark 9 29, where the disciples who followed Jesus, who learned from Jesus, 
They prayed for somebody who is sick. The person did not receive healing. They could not do it until Jesus intervened. And when Jesus intervened, they had to ask, Sir, why is it that we cannot do this? He said, Well, that kind of uh, case, you can only do it through fasting and prayer. I shouldn't know. But I thank God for every day. I have had an announcement where you normally fast and pray. Thank God for my father and mommy, Baba Lady. He taught us how to cope with fasting. We know it. Don't do the all this uh, uh, some of these our people. Uh -huh. They will say, we will announce in the church. Our fasting this year two two weeks. Uh -huh. Two weeks. Some people will go and meet our reverend. Ah, two, two, two days too small. It's too small. Let, let's add another. Let's make it seventeen days. And they are not. And it's a lie. Something happened. Something happened to my staff. A child of God. I sent him to go and buy tire for me. So he went to buy tire in their church. They declare thirty days fasting and prayer in January. Very very thirty days. So he now passed through the house of his pastor. He just said, let me go and greet my pastor. So he entered. They, they didn't lock the door. And it's around 10 in the morning. I'm, it's a life story. It's my subordinate in the office. He entered the city room. He saw pastor and his wife. They entered by the young. And a, <laughs> and a foreign room. The man was shocked. You know, it was a serious matter. He, he came to me in the office. He said, sir. He said he had a problem. I said, what's the problem? He said he saw a pastor and the and the wife. And they declare 40 days fasting. You see the problem we have in Nigeria. And they are, if I had that for they can say they can't have that for If you can do one day, please do one day. If you can do it, faithfully, faithfulness is what we need. Not all these, uh, these are, they are not serious people. And they are not true. They are, they are deceptive people. And there are many all over the place now. How can somebody say, go and fast for 100 days? It's not, that can't be real. It's not normal. But fasting, let's do it with wisdom according to how our leader teaches us. Finally, brethren, um, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 23. That's where we're going to close. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 23. It says, it says, we are, are you there? Can you read for me? And we are Christ, and Christ is God. There must be an inseparable relationship between us and Jesus Christ for that victory to begin to work for us. We must cultivate the mind of Jesus. We must aspire to be like Jesus. We may say it's not possible, it's difficult, but let us desire by prayers, by action, by deeds, by learning, let the, like thank God we have our father and our mother, we have Christian leaders that we can rely and trust. Not all of them you can rely on. If you rely on some of them, you will miss road. But thank God for the luck we have here. Let's begin to learn from them. You know Paul said, you see, you, you, I think was writing to Timothy, say, what? Uh, you have learned from me. Commit it to the hands of the faithful one. Who can also that is what we are doing in Lagos. Everything I learned from that day and Mommy And that's what makes my church unique. My church is well organized, well focused, running properly because we are following the sound doctrine that we learn from a faithful leader, a leader you can rely on. You, have, you must also be careful. Selective hearing. Sister, God bless you, man. I don't know you, but I say God will bless you for that message today. It's not a message. I told some people during the time I was serving as a first, uh, chairman of uh, First Grad. I said, sir, next time I go to any place and I see you preaching, I don't carry my Bible and run away. Because there are some people who will not profit you. But when you see leaders who are God fearing, you will you will be blessed by them. Amen. And you can learn from them. You can depend on them. You cannot do it on your own. The grace of God is there. It is by the grace of God we are all saved. But when after you have been saved, you need 
too, too late. I go have to lose. Is it too, too late? Yes. Yeah, you need to be too tall. You need mentor. You cannot grow. Somebody must hold you by his hand and begin to move you. If I've been let loose, if I've been released after I was saved and daddy did not come to our church, only God will know what I would have been happy to me today. But when you are consistently undergoing training from faithful people, before you know what happened, you yourself will be faithful. You can't do otherwise. Show me your leader. Then we say that leaders produce their kind. Leaders produce their kind. So if you find yourself under wrong leadership, you'll be in trouble. So God will guide us. Amen. God will direct us. Amen. Shall we rise? Bible says, as many who receive him, he gave power to become the children of God. It's not about our position in the church. For us to enjoy the victory that God has given to us, the great um, the great um, what, what's our team? Great triumph. Great triumph. Thank you, Mommy. The great triumph for us to enjoy it, we must be a child of God. We have deceived ourselves enough. We have gone the wrong way enough. We have listened to messages that will not profit us enough. Let's go back to Christ. I want us to bow down our heads and begin to pray for yourself. This is a journey that you cannot afford to lose. You cannot afford to fail. All the victories that you have secured for us, we must enjoy. It must work for us. It must work for our ministry. It must work for our family. We should not put ourselves in a position where people will say, ah, ah, where is your God? Say, be this man is a man of God. Say, be this man go to church. That will not be our testimony. Yeah. The Lord will help us. The Lord will teach us. Amen. The Lord will guide us. Amen. The Lord will order our step. Amen. The Lord himself will lift us up. Amen. He will grant us the grace and the power to continue to move forward Amen. in this Christian journey. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. God for the message. Today is the last day of the month. I want to thank God for the theme, the great triumph. I want you to begin to thank God for all the victory that God has given to you. Victory as you praise God, the victory that you receive, as you praise God, as you, as you give thanks unto God, the blessings that you receive. Hmm. Chola was talking about generational blessings. <laughs> I never knew. And that's what we are saying in a, in a money manner for next month. Transgenerational blessings. Transgenerational faith. We want to thank God for all this that we have received as a result from uh, the, the great victory that God has given you and I. The great triumph. Thank you, Father. Bless be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to the month of June and the May. And God has given us another thing for me. And it is our month of miraculous surprises. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Miraculous surprises. What, what our sister received in the month of in the outgoing month. We thank God for that. Hallelujah. But there will be more and more miraculous surprises. Yeah. In the month of uh, May, as we go, and the theme is taken from uh, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 24. He says, And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, Amen. and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Amen. There shall be miraculous uh, surprises Amen. in your home, Amen. in your life, Amen. in all the challenges that you have been facing. Amen. God will intervene. Amen. 
in Jesus' name. Shall we thank God? Let's begin to thank Him in advance. Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for another assurance that you have given unto us, even for the month of May. We thank you. We thank you. Miraculous surprises. Thank you. Surprise my dear sister. Surprise all the pastors here. Surprise them, Lord. Miraculous surprises. Surprises. Lord, surprise your people. You say, when and before, Lord God of heaven, eh, when they call, you will answer. Ah, and before they start speaking, you will hear them. Lord, I pray, I pray that it shall come to pass in the lives of men and women. In the name of Jesus. Not your people, none of your people shall labor in vain. In the name of Jesus. None of your people shall bring forth for trouble. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We bless your holy name. Be thou exalted, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for your servant that you have used to minister to us today. As we round up this field of grace. Seeing the word of God because therein lies the power of the need to live holy. Ah, without without holiness, there is no way. How can one say he's a pastor and cheating? How can one say he's a man of God and uh, 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 and stealing money uh, 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 and committing adultery with, a, with another person's wife? No, Father, we thank you that we have been we have had this several times. Father, I pray the grace to be in your one, the grace to stand by your one. Grant it unto each and every one of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I pray for everyone, either online or even here right now, that Lord, you will help us to live a holy life. Amen. A holy life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We ask, oh God, that uh, these messages that we are hearing, none of you will stand against any of us, Amen. even in the last day. Amen. Thank you for hearing. Amen. Help us, oh God. To be men and women of prayer. Amen. Prayer indeed. Amen. And we are told of testimony of a servant of God who says, Yes, he prays for nine hours at a go. And that is the truth. That is the truth. I ask, oh God, that you will help us. Amen. Even as we go into the new month. Amen. Lord, the month when you said to us that it shall be a month of miraculous, miraculous surprises. Amen. Surprise us. Amen. Surprise my brother. Amen. Surprise my sister. Amen. All those challenges in their lives that have made their heads to bow down. Father Lord, intervene in those challenges. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for hearing us. Amen. As we go into that month, it is a month Lord, full of expectations. Hey, Father, we are asking that the expectation of your people shall not be cut short. Oh, you will meet them at the very point of their needs. Amen. Thank you. Bless them in the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause the light of his countenance to shine upon you. May you experience miraculous surprises in every area of your, of your life. Concerning your social status. Concerning your finances. Concerning your marriage. Ah, Lord, every, every, every runaway husband, the Lord will bring them back. Wherever they are, they will not have peace. They will not have peace until they go back to the woman that, that they abandoned. In the name of Jesus Christ. All run away wise. Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus, they will not have peace until they go back home. We thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May there be only partnership. It will not be to the husband and wife. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause the light of his countenance to shine upon you. In the name of Jesus, may your testimony, Lord, in the coming months will be glorious. Thank you for hearing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For we pray with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Shall we share together Psalm 23, verse 6? Amen. Amen. My mom says today is Thanksgiving Sunday. We have been thanking God. Okay, let's all rejoice and begin to thank God for another 10 minutes. And we dance and dance. We'll be thanking God, mommy. We'll be thanking God. And those who said, uh, okay, we pray for Titus. All right, I will pray. I will pray for them. Father, we want to thank you for all those 
who gave in their tithes and offering, even during the month, those of them who did them through through them, many, many who don't even come to church eh, every Sunday. <coughs> they are faithful in remitting their money through them. And uh, Lord, I ask that we bless them in return. Yeah. All those who come to church, Lord, uh, with their offering, I pray that you will bless those offerings. Yeah. That all, oh, Lord, uh, their resources, the resources of your people, you will multiply. Amen. Thank you for hearing. Amen. Bless them in the name of the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Those who celebrated their birthday, I know you want to sing. You want to dance? Okay, Mama. Where is our Mama? Vanity. Where is Mama Vanity? Oh yeah, oh yeah, Mama Babo. Why do you Quick, 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 quick one. <coughs> all of you, all of you who celebrated your birthday in the month of April. There are many of them. Baba Doctor Amotocho of New Jersey. Celebrated. Oh, you can see the big boy. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. Where is your other three brothers? Okay. One is David, one is uh, one is his friend. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for our daughter, our boy. That day, I did a boy, 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 he celebrate. He's on the line. He's always on the line. He's a faithful servant of God. Mm -hmm. He celebrated his birthday on the nineteenth. Uh, this is actually uh, apparently they celebrated our own on the nineteenth too. Ah ah. I didn't get to log much at nineteenth. Hallelujah. They put our birthday twenty first. Amen. This is actually Butler twenty first. A voter. A voter. April twenty seven. Hallelujah. And do you know what I April 28. Let's pray for all these people. Huh? Okay. Uh, I don't have any. So come here, Bausi. Hallelujah. Let's pray. All the names that we have here, that the Lord God of heaven will grant them good health. That the Lord will grant them long life. That every prayer we pray for them, each day of the month of April, when they were celebrating their birthday, ah, that God will answer us in Jesus' name. Shall we talk to the Lord? Let's talk to the Lord. There are too many. There are too many. Father, we want to thank you. You know these ones. You know all of them. Some of them, Lord, are here. Some of them are online. Some of them are not even connected with, the, with this river day right now. But Lord, they have been connected with us one way or the other. In our journey, Lord, I pray for them. That Lord, uh, as they celebrate their birthday, you will keep them. Amen. You will take care of them. Amen. You will grant them good health. Amen. You will grant them long life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All these ones, Lord, uh, hey, as they grow in age, they will grow in your knowledge. Amen. They will grow in your notion. Amen. They will grow in your power. Amen. No evil shall be for them. Amen. Thank you and thank you. Let's serve in the name of the Lord. For we pray with hands given. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, let's put our hands together for New York. Amen. 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 So after the after this, do we do we come back to uh, oh, the court again? All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, I think to God be the glory. Be the we come so lovely the Invitation, but I have been given invitation. 
He was asking me, Baba, don't stress us. I said, what if I take, what if I is my own daughter? What are you talking? We are stressing myself. Yeah, so we are going there. And I will be going there on your behalf to pray to honor the young lady who is celebrating, who is, who is graduating. Hallelujah. So, Father, we want to thank you for things of joy that, Lord, we will begin to do. <laughs> As from tomorrow, first day of the month, you will cause the joy of your people to be full. Amen. Father, Lord, on the fifth of this month of May, Lord, our young daughter, Lord, will be graduating from Georgia State University. We want to thank you. We thank you for the time that you have spent. We ask, Lord God of heaven, all our other colleagues who will be celebrating their birthday, I mean their graduation, even next month, I ask, oh God, that in the name of Jesus, the joy of their parents will not be short-lived. We thank you for hearing. Amen. As we go into that month, go with us. Amen. Let your grace be multiplied in our lives. Amen. We bless you, Lord. Thank you for some of our children who are in their various colleges and will be traveling back home. We ask, Lord, you will bring them back home safely. Amen. All of them in their various uh, 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 campuses. Father, we pray that you bring them back home in Jesus' name. So that, Lord, in, in the next month, in the coming month, this place will be filled up again with all our children who are undergraduates. Thank you. Thank you for James. Thank you, Lord God of heaven. Thank you for all others that we may not know now. Thank you for Precious, who is graduating this year too. Thank you for all these ones. Oh, these are things that give, give us a joy. Oh, Father, I pray that the joy of their parents will not be short-lived. We thank you for hearing. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause the light of his countenance to shine upon you. In the name of Jesus, good news will never cease in your family. Now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Sacred 3 verse 6. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day. Amen. If I don't know your birthday, please submit.